Heading out the door to pick up a rental car. Yes, I know I've talked about taking the bus before, but I'm actually just walking to get a rental car to go to the cottage because my bus, there are no buses that go to the cottage because the cottage is over an hour away. Dancing in the darkness, I won't let you run. Car rental place is only like a 20 minute walk and like I said before it doesn't cost that much to rent a car for a couple days especially since I'm old and over 25 <laughs> so let's uh let's see what we got I think I picked out like a compact car that's my car I am literally the second person to ever drive this car not even a thousand kilometers on it. You know, the guys at the rental place were so nice. I wish all customer service was like that. They were just so friendly. They asked about the camera and the little tripod thing I have and they seemed to take an interest. They even offered me a free upgrade to a 4x4 Dodge pickup truck. Now. You guys know how I feel about cars, especially trucks. And living in the city, a truck is not that practical. But he knew I was going up to the cottage, so he was nice enough to offer me that. Didn't take it. I still got upgraded. Gonna go meet Emily. Gotta pick up some stuff for the cottage at the grocery store. She's a little mad because I'm late. Only one. I should give you credit. Hello. Did you just call? No. The phone just rang. No, we didn't call. Did you pick up my family? Hi. We picked up, we picked up Heather on the way. Oh. You're making me bring all the bags. Yeah, I can bring more. I'm going to go walk down the road and meet my mom and my dog. Well, not my dog, my parents' dog. I still consider him my dog. What do you want? You're not coming in the hot tub with us. Emily? Are you wearing your bikini? You guys don't get to see our bikini. <laughs> Only I do. <laughs> oh, hot tub was great. Get close enough when you're around. I've got butterflies that never stop. And I know that I'm the only one. I should give you credit. Waiting by the phone. I miss you, but this time I know the feeling. You want me, and I'm happy to be waiting. When the light is out, nowhere to be found.
It's uh, the day after we arrived and we're going to build a toboggan run as is necessary with any Canadian cottage. We're going to come down this way and then go down there onto the lake. I'm going to see if I can get a good angle. Up there looks pretty good. There's some almond pate, baba ganoush, chickpea, hummus, and what's this? Walnut pate, avocados, yada yada. For these guys, made by yours truly. I'll go say goodbye to everyone. Okay. Well, that was the cottage. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Crammed in a... <laughs> a whirlwind of cottaging. Oh, look at this. I recently discovered that not every snowflake is, is exactly unique. Oh, yeah? They, they have discovered snowflakes that are the same. How? Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you discover that? Uh, like very photograph, like me methodic, <laughs> long hours at the long hours at the uh, office, I guess. I like to move real close after waking up. The perfect parallel park. <laughs> well, that was the cottage, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. So instead of watching football, I'm going to go play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. Ha, ha, ha.